painting is by a decorative figure on an ornamental background, 1924, it's by Matisse. In the room where Matisse keeps her, a geometry of shapes bloom lush patterns, rugs so thick it would be easy to sink into, lose herself in what colors her space, believe it is the gravity that keeps her from falling into zero. Naked except for a white towel wrapped around her thigh, she stares straight ahead as if she was somewhere else. My mother, who preferred serene nature scenes to paintings like this, like what, I would ask, as if she were here, could make anything with a needle, using thread or wool, never follow a pattern, organized her days around chores, evenings around her husband's complaints, lived inside the gold ring of marriage. Afterwards, when he was gone and she was in the home, she go through the motions with her hands, pulling invisible thread through a tiny needle's eye, threading one free breath after another. It's not so much the woman as the patterns I'm drawn to, how she fits in and doesn't, whether she's toying with his vision or he led her to it. The nursery rhyme, I think all of you know it. At Monday's child is fair of face, Tuesday's child is full of grace, and it goes on that way. Um, the mother who gives birth to a poem. It was like that mother goose rhyme without the rhyme sense of it. You know how it goes. Monday's child is fair of face, Tuesday's child is. Only he wasn't a child or fair, and it wasn't that simple. Seven days, seven images. A mother wasn't needed for nobody's newborn middle-aged child of the 21st century to give birth to himself in this new world, send out an announcement of that day's birth. They say Wednesday's child is full of woe, and there were days he didn't understand why nobody commented more on his new birth. Didn't they see the cool cat playing the sax, the activist on stage working the crowd? the lover women flock over, seeing the birth announcements coming daily, more and more rapidly, especially on weekends. She says Saturday's child works hard for its living, and it was hard to work to keep up, he thought, about his Russian grandmother who had eight children, pioneer women out west who died giving birth. People spoke of a woman's first, second, and third families, now a man could know what it feels like too, sort of. He left his apartment less and less. The days of the week kept repeating, and he was always back to Monday, another due date. Others were too busy with their own births to give him more than a cursory acknowledgement. The announcements piled up, unread, unlooked at, as if he died. Posthumous births kept coming. They kept coming and coming. Thank you.